Welcome back, folks, to Let's Play Fantasy Star 4, The End of the Millennium, and when last we left off, Alice and Chaz have been paid by Han to escort him over to Birth Valley, so that he can try and find Professor Holt. It seems like bad things may have happened to Professor Holt, as nobody that has gone to Birth Valley recently has come back, and Zeo, the person that definitely isn't evil, by the way he certainly is evil, I think he went to the Batlin school of being evil but had to drop out because he was way too obviously evil, warns the Professor that nobody else should go to Birth Valley. The threat that was portrayed was quite obvious, the threat of being turned to stone. Is that because there are things in Birth Valley that are turning people to stone? Or is that because Zeo is turning people to stone? If Zeo can turn people to stone, he's a very dangerous villain indeed. But let's go to uh, Birth Valley. We can't actually find out if we stay here, so let us go to the Overworld. Here is the Overworld. There are areas of lush green. There are also areas of vast desert. And mountains. And there is the ocean or the sea. I can't tell from here which it is. Let us move to the northeast and see if we can find where we need to go. We're going to find some combat though! And these enemies appear to have got the drop on us. Two crawlers, they look like very young sandworms. We'll have to fight them the same way we fought everything else, which is with a boomerang and our bladed weapons, and that was not a lot of damage. We're going to have to uh, most certainly get some better equipment very soon. We do have quite a lot of money though, Han paid us a fair amount to uh, take him to Birth Valley, so let us see if we can finish off these foes and find a weapon shop. That is more damage, only one for Alice though, and I think this enemy is gone. Excellent. 30 Mesetta. Not bad. Let's keep going north, shall we? Any place here that we- Ah, I see somewhere we can go! I also see four enemies, this is going to be a very dangerous encounter. I want you to focus on that one. There we go! Four hits, only eight damage each, that's not good. Hopefully we can take care of one of these crawlers, and then we can start whittling down the other ones. That was not good, the fact that uh, we weren't able to finish off even one of them. I want you to start focusing on this one now, there we go! More boomerang power! If we didn't have Alice with us, we'd be in some very serious trouble. Chaz is in some very serious trouble right now. He's only on 14 health. Hopefully the uh, place that we can see in the distance will have an inn where we can rest. We want to uh, have some attacks here. There are only two of the crawlers now uh, going to attack us, which is good, and now none of them. That was a lot of Masetta. Let us quickly go over to this place that is right next to a big amount of moving sand. Is it quicksand? Let's find out. This is Mile. We were told about Mile. We were told that this place has no water in the well anymore. Hello? This is the village of Mile, and this is our newly built sandworm ranch. What do you think? Isn't it great? This will attract a lot of tourists. I don't think it's going to. You're purposely rearing some very dangerous animals. The sandworms are exceptionally dangerous. There's a sign here, but also, you're going to stop us from going into the uh, sandworm ranch. It does make sense, we'd probably just end up killing them. It says, the big sandworm ranch. I don't think that's a very good idea. Indeed it's not. Let's have a conversation with everyone here. There's the inn! We'll be stopping there in a moment. Did you see the quicksand? It's spreading and spreading! How long is this town going to last? Not very long by the looks of it. It would seem that the desert is very quickly reclaiming all of this lush green landscape. This planet is not doing very well. Let's go into the inn and rest. And there's somebody else in here that we can talk to. Hello? That is uh, not somebody. That is the empty air in front of somebody because the person moved when I was trying to talk. Hello? I'm the only daughter of the innkeeper. Even if I can't do much, I must work and help all I can. Let us go and say hello to the innkeeper, and rest. This indeed is the inn, and it's 30 Masetta to stay. Perfectly reasonable. Let us restore all of that lost health, because we did lose quite a lot. Is there something here for us to look at? Not really, because we won't be allowed to look in that cabinet, I'm sure. Chaz won't let us. Curse you, Chaz! You're preventing us from finding lots of awesome loot. Let's talk to you. In the past, the land around here was pretty fertile and there was a lot of farming going on, but now the wells and fields have all withered away. 
things really aren't looking good for this place. See that castle beyond the quicksand? I could have sworn that one night there was nothing, and the next day, there it was. It must have been my imagination, don't you think? No, definitely not. Chances are that is a castle that wasn't there before, and you are indeed correct that uh, it just appeared out of nowhere. An ominous castle indeed. Maybe there's a boss in there we need to defeat at some point. Let's go in here and say hello to everyone. I'm studying so that I can enroll in Matavia Academy. Hey, stop bothering me! Kids. What, don't you like the fact that he wants to better himself by learning? Well, let's just keep going, Chaz. Actually, we wanted him to keep the family farm going, but what with the fields in such a state, I suppose there's no use. Indeed, things are not going well. We haven't actually looked at one of the stoves. Let's have a look. It's a kitchen. It's kept pretty clean. Indeed it is. Let's keep looking around, shall we? There is an item shop. We could see what the item shop has for sale once we've uh, looked around a bit more. Here is that well. It's a well, but it's dry. I think I can clearly see water in there, Chaz. No, no, it's definitely dry. We were told that there was no water in there. Oh, Chaz. Let's just go into here and say hello to the people within, starting with you. Whatever field we try to cultivate, the soil just becomes infertile. Sounds pretty bad. Our only son is enrolled in the Matavia Academy, but recently we've had a series of bad harvests and we haven't been able to send his allowance. We've been so worried whether he has enough to eat. Ah, you're the parents of the ones that uh, we spoke to earlier. He's going to get a job because he has no money at all. There is a weapon shop and an armor shop. Two stores in one. Have I spoken to you already? You're looking for Birth Valley? Then go to a village called Zima. Zima is northeast of here, but recently it's been rumored that there's no sign of any people. Maybe they all fled at night? Highly unlikely, something bad has happened, and also, you are performing the most futile activity I've ever seen here. I sweep and I sweep, but the sand keeps blowing. I'm sick and tired of this. Have you tried stopping? What? Well, if the sand's just going to keep blowing by, there's no point in you sweeping anything. Why didn't I think of that? Let's just keep going, Han. We have to get to Birth Valley. It's said a strange religion is becoming popular. They say it's being spread by a man dressed in black. What did they say his name was? Oh yes, Zio. Yeah, I believe they said his name was Zio. So we now have confirmation that uh, that religion that we heard about in Matavia Academy, the one which the uh, the one that the girl who vanished was starting to worship, is indeed being spread by Zio. Nothing good can come from that. I heard that Zima has been destroyed. Someone must go and make sure. I, uh, I'm too busy, so I can't go. Liar. Uh, really, I'm busy, walking around in a pattern around... Okay, I'm scared. Let's just go get some more equipment. And indeed we shall. Let us go to the uh, weapons and armor shop. One of these people will sell armor, the other will sell weapons. And before we decide to have a look at uh, what they have, let's have a look at what Alice has. She has a leather crown, a boomerang, and a leather cloth. I also haven't looked at her state. Let us have a look at uh, her statistics. Also, look at that smile. That is the smile of somebody confident in their abilities. Let us see what you have for sale. Welcome to the weapons store. What do you need? Let us buy. Ah, there are daggers available, hunting knives, we know that Chaz has two of those, a steel sword, which only Chaz can equip, a boomerang, which you know she has, and a slasher. Let us buy the slasher, it sounds like a better boomerang, and let us also buy a steel sword. We don't need to buy a hunting knife because we know that, um, we know that Chaz has some, so we can just give them over to uh, Han. Let us equip this uh, weapon on Alice. There we go, we'll swap out the boomerang. Can we actually have the boomerang equipped here? We could actually have two boomerangs equipped. That is something we could do. We could also just get a shield instead. To be honest, getting a shield might be a better idea. We also need to equip that uh, sword on Chaz. There we go, it is a two-handed sword, so he can't have any of those uh, knives equipped. That's okay though, we'll just have Han use them. There we go, or one of them, because he already has a leather shield. In general, getting armor's a good idea. Welcome, this is the armor shop. Aren't you the person that was back in uh, the area with Matavia Academy? Yes, 
I am everywhere. I am Legion. We want to probably buy a leather shield for Alice. Just buy one. There we go. And then we probably want to sell some things. I imagine the uh, stores will pretty much buy everything that they're uh, offered. Let us equip Alice with the uh, leather shield. We'll replace the boomerang. There we go. Having two weapons sounds like a good idea, but to be honest, having the defense is likely better. We'll just uh, sell here. We will sell a dagger. There we go. 20 meseta. A fine price indeed. Not the monomate, though. Don't want to sell that. No? Then would you sell me something else? We will. We'll sell you this uh, hunting knife. There we go. And we'll also sell you this boomerang. We can always get more boomerangs. We are that much better equipped now. That is to say that uh, Alice has a little bit more defense and Han has a bit more attack. And uh, Chaz just has more attack. We will now go and buy a few things here. Mainly I want to buy an antidote or two. I get the feeling that uh, with antidote being an option, it might be important. And we'll also buy one more monomate. Can't hurt to have more of them, can it? And then I think we're pretty much done here. And the only thing that we can then do is leave and head over to Zima and find out just how bad things are there. Also, all of this here, not good. Not very much is growing. There may indeed seem to be nothing there, but that is because nothing is growing. Let us leave and avoid the quicksand. Quicksand is a good way to fight sandworms. And also, here is a monster fly and one crawler. The monster flies are exceptionally basic enemies. They are enemies that uh, you could encounter at the very beginning of the first game. Let's have uh, Alice try out that new boomerang. We'll have you attack the crawler, and you attack the crawler. Have at thee! That is slightly better. 11 damage as opposed to 8 or 9, and that is just a general improvement all around. Victory and money. What is over here? Is this where Birth Valley is? This is where combat certainly is, that's for sure. Let us uh, do battle with these crawlers. And get more experience and more money also. That sword, really good. You're not any better at defending yourself, however. That's because we didn't give you a shield. We could have got you a shield, I chose not to. That is a critical hit of awesomeness. And that is a victory. Let us keep moving, shall we? Over here, and is Birth Valley? That appears to be where Zima is. Let us go and uh, see how Zima is doing. I imagine pretty poorly. 11 damage apiece, 20 there, and Han got in a respectable nine. Four damage there, not that good, but we can just finish off this enemy and then move on. Victory is ours! Marvelous. And Chaz is now one level higher, and gained quite a few new things, and he also gained a new technique. Let us go to Zima. That is some sinister music, and it seems like the people here suffered the fate that Zeo said would happen to people that went to Birth Valley. But this isn't Birth Valley. They've been turned into stone. That's not good at all. Keep your eyes peeled, Chaz. Stone? Really? Well, does it look like stone to you, Han? I, I don't want to look at him. Oh, it is stone, isn't it? It is indeed. Let's look around and see if we can find anyone. There doesn't appear to be anyone here. It's a bookshelf. Gee, there are a lot of academic books. We need to see if we can find anybody that is okay. There's a room over here. It seems these two people might have been trying to uh, obscure this way down. Indeed, they've been turned to stone. It's a bookshelf. There are even more academic books. Let's go down and see if there's anybody there. Okay, there are two children here. They appear to be okay. Let's have a conversation with them. Mummy said to hide here. What's going on outside? Mummy! Daddy! Ah! Shall we tell them? No, Chaz, we should not tell them. I saw a mean man wearing black clothes. That must be Zeo. So zio has been here. Oh yes, Chaz, Zeo has been here. And he has done great evil. Great evil indeed. It can only be presumed that Zeo probably turned these people to stone. After all, those two people that were at the top of um, or the main floor of that building were trying to conceal that way down. We can only presume Zeo did this. Everyone has been turned to stone. 
And it's locked from the inside. We cannot go into the store. It looks like a street stall, but it doesn't look like they're open for business. No surprise considering that everyone has been turned to stone. We're not going to really be uh, getting any information here. We're going to have to go into Birth Valley itself, I think. And that involves going up here. Let's go. Welcome to Birth Valley. I have no idea what to expect. Here is an Acid Breath. Oh, that was 15 points of damage. Ouch. Can we defeat this foe? That's five to Alice. That is not good. Not encouraging at all. We got a lot of experience and Han is one level higher, but ouch. Ouch, that hurt. We're going to have to uh, certainly use an item here. A Monomate. We shall use it, and we shall use it with Han. Monomate is used. Hit points fully recovered. Okay, they're a lot more potent than I thought they were. We're not going to be using them all the time. Can we go up here? Well, here are some uh, Xanafalgs and uh, Zoran Bolts. We can fight these. We fought these before. These are not tricky foes. Maybe that uh, one we encountered at the uh, beginning was just a far more difficult enemy. Okay, we can just kill some of them with one lucky hit from uh, Alice's boomerang. Also, one point of damage. Not really that much at all. Let's uh, very carefully explore. There we go. And I think that is one victory. Not bad. Can we go up here? We can. I actually want to go this way first. Mainly because, indeed, here is some loot. There is a, uh, a carbon shield. That seems like a very useful piece of equipment. And there are only two people that can equip uh, shields right now because Chaz has a two-handed weapon. If we were to give you the shield, you would gain quite a lot of, uh, you would gain some uh, power here, certainly. You gain three points of defensive power. Do we want to give it to you or do we want to give it to Han? Giving it to Han might actually be a better idea because he only has uh, 11 defense. Let's give that to Han. It's a good idea to always defend the people that uh, have much lower defense. Here is one of these. A, uh, it's called a flatter plant. We will just defeat this very quickly, hopefully. Okay, no we won't. We'll take eight damage first and then we'll attack. Hopefully our combined efforts will, yep, defeat it. We got an antidote. That's a little worrying. If the enemies are dropping antidotes, that means that we might need them ourselves. I don't know if up here will lead to progress or to items. You always really want to find items wherever you go. Boomerang power! And that is one foe gone, a second foe gone, and you're still fast enough to get a hit in before Han can finish you off. We're pretty good at defeating those enemies. Here is more loot. And we have found a monomate. Also, is there dialogue to be had here? Nope, no different dialogue at all. We're on our way through Birth Valley, don't worry, Han. We do have to worry about all of these enemies, but not uh, these ones specifically. These ones aren't that tricky. We'll just uh, attack, we'll have an attack here, one attack there. Have at thee! Boomerang power of awesomeness! Also, I think, ooh, nice critical hit there. I think having the uh, shield on uh, Han is probably a good idea, because he probably uh, resisted a few extra points of damage there. We'll just have some attacks, and I'm pretty sure this fight is over. Oh yes, this fight is very over. We're getting quite a bit of money, but if we want to actually do something with that money, we'd have to go all the way back to the uh, settlement by the quicksand. And here are some stairs. We might as well go down. And be very careful. I have a hunch that somewhere around here is going to be... There it is! Loot. We have found a uh, piece of armor. Hmm. I feel like equipping that to... Uh, Somebody like Chaz might be a good idea. That is quite a lot of uh, increase in defensive power. We're definitely giving that to uh, Chaz, most certainly. Alice doesn't need it. Alice has a lot of hit points. Let us fight this enemy. Here we go. Three attacks. Also, you went first and that was only one point of damage. Maybe that carbon suit is indeed helping. Never mind though, victory is ours. This place is dangerous. Also, can we uh, have a look at this? No, we can't. There's nothing there but collapsed rocks. There's nothing here but a bunch of enemies that we need to face and defeat. We don't need to fight the uh, Xanafalgs. They'll probably die right now. Well, one of them certainly did. 
Well, point of damage, everything seems to like spitting at us. That's not particularly great. I think the uh, the uh, one that we encountered at the beginning of this place is the first enemy that we found that actually doesn't spit as its only attack. There we go, more money. Ten mesetas is one monomate, and monomates are useful. Also, here is somebody that's been turned to stone. They've been turned into stone. Yes, we've gathered that. Everyone's been turned to stone here. I wonder where the professor is. We'll find him soon enough. You're not going to charge me for escorting them back to the academy, are you? Maybe. Look, I don't have much more money, you know. And when we come back, folks, we will continue to explore Birth Valley. And if we're lucky, we may find the professor not made of stone. It's not likely, though. I think everybody here is going to be uh, made of stone at the moment. And so, I'll catch you next time, folks, and I'll see you then. Later. Things aren't looking good for the people that went to Birth Valley, but the question is, why does Zeo not want people there? What is Zeo trying to hide? Or is it in fact not Zeo that turned people to stone, and I'm just blaming Zeo? It's very likely that it was Zeo. Later.